Indian media. Shame on you. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> The Imran Khan and Donald Trump talk that took place on the 23rd of September was quite respectful. Imran Khan did the impossible and finally managed to explain to Trump the whole Kashmir issue is about. President Trump, I believe, said yesterday. You look at the two gentlemen heading those two countries, two good friends of mine. I said, fellas, work it out. Just work it out. Pakistan and India should just come together. It sounded like the, uh, <laughs> the Nike ad, just do it. <laughs> Well, first of all, I had to explain to President Trump the Kashmir issue and, <laughs> the, uh, and I think the second time yeah, when I had a long chat with him, I managed to explain it to him and that's why he says It's a complex issue. It's been going on for a long time. It's a difficult, it's a complicated issue. <laughs> but, but as I was browsing through YouTube, I came across this video by a prominent Indian media which gave a very twisted and deceitful perspective of the talk. For the Akis watching, it was Daif. Alright, so here's the claim of the Indian media. Imran Khan received nothing but cold shoulder during his bilateral meeting with US President Donald Trump. Nothing but cold shoulder. Alright, so let's see where these cold shoulder moments are. So we're going to double, triple, quadruple the trade. It will be very easy to do. They make great product and so do we. Nothing but cold shoulder. <gasps> and it's an honor to be with you. Thank you very much. Please. Cold shoulder. <laughs> I mean, as if there are not already enough challenges. You know. Cold shoulder. I have a very good relationship with Prime Minister Khan. Nothing but cold shoulder. And under this leader, he's a great leader. I think he wants to make great progress. Shoulder. Out of my respect for your Prime Minister. Gold shoulder. And I will tell you this, you have a great leader. And uh, he's a good man, he's a nice man. Gold shoulder. Happens to be a great athlete, not that that matters, but it's always, it's always nice. Right, I, I don't know which video these guys were watching. Maybe it was cartoons again, but... I struggle to find a single gold shoulder moment. Here the Indian media takes a sound bite of a comment Donald Trump made to one of the Pakistani reporters. On the other hand, uh, Trump even snubbed a reporter who asked him about the Kashmir situation. Where do you find reporters like this? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now let me give it to you in context. Yeah, Listen to what he says literally straight after. Where do you find reporters like this? <laughs> These guys are fantastic. Uh, oh, yeah. They cut that sentence mid-flow with no shame whatsoever, mate. These guys are fantastic. Astaghfirullah. That's straight up lying. And then you got loads of Indians in the comments getting all excited and saying, "Ha! Take that! Donald Trump smashed it." Don't get gassed and upset because you couldn't come up with it and it got exposed. Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan, he's rather fidgety, uh, whether it's fidgeting, uh, you know, fiddling with his prayer beads uh, or, uh, you know, he's, he's very nervous in this meeting, keeps wringing his hands in all these meetings. They're prayer beads. They have to be moved in order to be effective. Wait a minute. Did he just move his foot? Ah! Panic boom, you! Win. I knew it, India's right mate. You guys win, Pakistan loses. You guys can keep 8 million people under siege for 50 days. <laughs> oh man, oh, only if he didn't move his foot. Hey, fair and square guys. And here's the case of Imran getting the jitters before his UNGA address. In what is a clear indication of his nervousness, you've got Imran Khan saying now that he's never seen so much anticipation for anything before. Jittery. Hang on a minute. Because he acknowledged and appreciated the hype behind his speech, that makes him jittery and scared. In my 22 years of politics, 23 years of politics, I have never seen anticipation for anything like my speech tomorrow in the United Nations General Assembly. Mate, whatever dictionary you guys have, flipping burn it. 
You guys need to go back to school and get whacked over the head with an Oxford dictionary. And you know what? If he was nervous, why would he do a 50 minute speech in front of world leaders with no notes? For uh, the speech that he is going to be making, nobody has any doubts that Imran Khan will have nothing to talk about but Kashmir. Imran Khan will have nothing to talk about but India. And half of his speech was on climate change, debt, taxes and Islamophobia. So that was a blatant lie as well. Nobody has any doubts. In that case, you need to replace all your political analysts ASAP. Fire them. Don't worry, just give them 20 cold shoulders and a freezer. You know what guys, I can actually see why Indians are so angry and so unreasonable online. If you've got a media like this, how on earth do you expect peace to come anytime soon? The media needs to be responsible in bringing people together and speaking out against injustices. It should be on the side of the people, not the government. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Was I being too jittery? and unreasonable or do I need a cold shoulder? Alright <laughs> guys, until next time. Cold shoulder. Asalaamu Alaikum.